Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, I hope that you're all well. Today I'm going to be showing you how I paint this pink ocean sunset. You might want to watch this tutorial through once before you try it yourself, and I'm going to link all the materials in the description box below. Today I'm painting on an 8x10 inch cotton canvas, you can obviously paint on whatever you have at home, and I'm using a size range of brushes, it's important to have a blending brush for this tutorial. And these are all the colours that I'm using, once again they're linked in the description, feel free to substitute any of them for what you have at home. And I'm also using this medium today, it helps to speed the drying time and to thin out the oil paint, but you can substitute with linseed oil or whatever medium you usually prefer to use. So I'm starting by mixing the colours. First of all I'm going to be mixing the pinks for those pink clouds in the sky. So I've just taken some crimson and some titanium white and I'm mixing those together. I'm creating a darker shade and then adding some titanium white to create a lighter shade of the same pink. Then I'm taking some ultramarine blue, some indigo blue, and some titanium white and mixing this together. This is going to be the top of the sky and then I'm going to add some more titanium white to this colour and use that for the bottom. As you can see I've just added in some more ultramarine blue to make it a bit brighter. And then I'm just taking that shade, adding some titanium white and that's what we're going to use for the bottom of the sky. Now I'm taking some indigo blue and viridian green with a bit of titanium white and the tiniest bit of lamp black and then we're going to be using that for the ocean. And again I'm taking some of that colour and adding some titanium white to create three shades of it. Here I've just taken some crimson and some yellow and added some titanium white to create the lightest highlights of the clouds. Now I'm going to be using some masking tape to create a horizon line. You don't have to do this, you can just draw a straight line with a pencil, but this is just personal preference for me because I find it easier. Then I'm taking some of that medium and I'm pouring it onto the palette. And the way that I use it is I dip my brush into the medium and then straight into the paint. So I didn't realise my camera wasn't actually recording when I started painting this, I'm really sorry about that. But what I did was I used the darkest shade of pink to create these outlines of the clouds. And then the clouds at the bottom, I used the medium shade of pink that we just mixed. Then for the top of the sky, I just used the darker shade of blue. So hopefully that's kind of easy to follow and you can see what I've done and just replicate it for yourself. Um, nothing has to be neat at this stage, we're just simply blocking in colours. We don't really want any mixing at this point because we're going to go in with our blending brushes in a bit and try and smooth out some of the harsh edges. But for now we're just being rough and mapping where we want the clouds to be. So for the bottom of the sky I'm using the lighter shade of blue that we mixed and I'm just kind of going around the edges of the cloud outlines. I'm not really blending them together as of yet, I'm just adding it in. I'm taking some pink, taking the light pink and I'm adding it to the outside of the clouds and then I'm going in with the blending brush and just very lightly blending around the edges of the pink clouds. When you're blending you want to make sure that you're wiping your brush off quite regularly so that you're not mixing all the colours together. It's also okay if you feel like you're blending out too much and you're losing some of the pink because later we can just go back in and add some more pink on top.
So here I'm just using the darker shade of blue and painting it along the horizon line and then underneath this I'm going in with the medium shade. I'm taking our pink colour. It doesn't have to be a very bright pink but just to suggest that where the clouds are they're reflecting onto the water. Then in the foreground I'm taking the lighter shade of blue again and I'm filling in the gaps. I like to paint the whole of the base of the sea before I go in and start painting any waves over the top. So now I'm going in with the darkest shade of blue that we use for the horizon line and I'm starting to paint in some of the waves. So we want the waves closest to us to be bigger than the ones in the background and as they get closer to the horizon line I stop painting them in as actual shapes, I just start painting them in more as like fine lines. Now I'm just going in and tidying some of it up and making some of the waves a lot bolder just so that they stand out more. Yeah and there you have it, that's your painting complete. I'm really sorry if this tutorial was a bit hard to follow but for the next one I'll definitely try to also film the palette as I'm painting along. But yeah I really appreciate you staying till the end and I hope that you have a good day. Bye!